Good morning, good morning. How are you today? I know it's been a long time. I've been on vacation. Listen, listen. You see the title? I mean, come on. Let's get some deliverance today. Oh, my goodness. Listen. I mean, it's time to get some deliverance. Um, I don't know what, you know, you might need to be delivered from or or need deliverance in whatever area it is. Um, I was in a place where it was dealing with, um, <laughs> dealing with a lot of, um, fear. Um, so I went on vacation this weekend and I went, um, zip lining. Now I've been afraid of heights for a long time. I go, anytime I go higher than, you know, I don't know. I don't even know. I just, I don't like looking down. I don't like looking at over things. I just, it's just not my thing. Um, even a bridge. I don't even, I like being in the middle lane. I don't like being on the outside lane where I can look down and I see water. That's just not me. I, I, I was, it was a fear. And so we were on vacation and we were, it was a place where um, I was able to just like relax and hear God very clearly on what he was asking for, you know, to do. And me and my wife had made this, you know, plan. That, okay, we're going to go zip lining. And it sounded fun while we was driving. But the, the more I thought about it, the more I realized, uh, duh, you're going to be high in the sky. And so we were sitting there talking about it. And I heard God clearly. He's like, you asking to see it my way. You're asking to see my perspective in things. And I want you to be able to look down and see it the way I see it. And I'll, I was like, wow. But let me tell you something. When I heard that the devil instantly brought in, you remember, you're scared of heights. You can't go. You, you're not wanna, you're not going to want to look down. You're not going to want to be in this place. You're not just going to want to do this. So you might you might not want to um, say that this is what you want to do or tell Yvette you don't want to do this or back out. And let me tell you, I mean, I'm talking about all the way until we got into the van going up there. When I tell you my heart rate was like racing. I mean, I, I mean, it's like it wanted to my heart wanted to jump out of my chest and and. I, I got onto the first one and I closed my eyes. I really didn't, but I had to open them because at the end, you got to be able to see the person that when he tells you to slow down and stop and all of this stuff. So uh, in my mind, I'm like, man, I just, he got to yell at me and then I'll, I'll figure it out. And so I was, I was zip lining and, and I got to the end and I was like, whoa, I, I, my heart was still racing because I knew I had to go to another one. And then when I got to the next one, you couldn't see the person. And so I had my eyes closed for a second. And God says, open your eyes because you need to be able to see what I see. And so I, I was like squinting, trying to see a little bit because I was this. I'm getting some I'm, I'm getting some deliverance here. And so I was opening my eyes just a little bit. And then I was able to see the trees. And then when I saw I was above trees and how high I was over those trees, almost panic. I mean, I was, my thinking is this thing is going to fall down and, and I'm going to hit this. I'm just going to drop and nobody's going to find me. I mean, all of the devil was just running these things through my head. And so I, I, God said, open your eyes. And so I opened my eyes like wide. And then I was look, I started looking around and I realized he says, I got you. I got you. I was like, Ooh, okay, God, let's go. I got to this third one. Now the third one was getting, it, it was getting longer and longer. So I got to the third one and I was like, wow, this, you know, my eyes were open and I'm looking around and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling safe now because I, H1, I was getting a layer of deliverance. You got to understand this, this thing will grip me for a very long time. I've been delivered from a lot of stuff, but delivered from heights. And I'm thinking, yeah, this, you know, that ain't, you know, that ain't no sin, you know what I mean? But fear is. And the enemy uses fear. And if he has any area in your life that fear has gripped you, he will use that fear. That, that's an open door. That's a breach that he can get in and he can use fear to torment you. He can use fear. Whatever it is, you fearing that, 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 that something won't happen. You fearing that you can't be healed. You fearing that, you know, your child, your children won't be saved. You're fearing that you won't be a good father or you won't be a, a good wife or you won't, you just got fear that you're not doing it the right way. I mean, any, any type of fear, God, the God is like, I got you. I got you. 
And so I, as I got closer, I got to like five. And so when I got to five, the, the young man said, now this is going to be one of the, the prettiest sight you're going to ever see in zip line. And I don't care where you are, this is a prettiest sight. So I'm thinking, okay, he said, you're going to be able to see three different states. And in my mind, I'm like, what? It was already pretty. I'm not going to lie. I'm up here in these, in these mountains, these smoky mountains, and I'm looking at these mountains and, and it's just flat out beautiful. And so God, I'm like, my God, you built this. My God, you spoke this. This is your creation. This ain't man creation. You created this. And I get an opportunity, you giving me an opportunity to see it from your perspective. I'm like, okay, God, let's do this. So I'm at five and, and the guy's like, I want you to look to the right, to the left, because you're going to be able to see Tennessee, Kentucky, and North Carolina on this site. I'm like, okay, God, you you going you going you finna give me some overflow. Not only am I gonna see the the creations you seen, you you created. Now I'm going to see. Listen to me now. Let's get some deliverance today. I'm going to see three different states on one zip line. Man, when I tell you it was the it was one of the prettiest sights I've seen besides my wife. It was one of the prettiest sights that I've seen. And I was, I was going and I looked, I was looking to the right, looking to the left. And I remind you, before I got on this thing, I wasn't looking nowhere. I had my eyes closed. So now I'm able to look to the right. Look, and I'm like, yes, Lord. Yes. This is beautiful. I'm screaming. This is beautiful, Lord. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Then all of a sudden we get a thunderstorm. The enemy didn't want, he didn't want me to complete the, the task, but I had already got my deliverance. I had already got set free. And so when I was doing this, I was like, I, today, God was like, Gerald, fear can't hold you anymore. Fear can't, fear can't, fear can't be anything. It's not a gatekeeper anymore. It's not going to open up you. It's not going to be a breach to you anymore because I've showed you and I've told you how to, how to, um, um, get your deliverance. And so I got deliverance from drugs, alcohol, all of that stuff, pornography, masturbation, all of this, the perverted stuff, lust and all the generational stuff. And so fear, fear was the one thing that I wasn't even paying attention to. But that the enemy was still, I mean, it was so afraid that I felt like my heart was going to. And we, you know, my family used to, you know, I, I, I counsel that I'm the blood, I'm the generational curse breaker. So I break, I break the, uh, um, the, the bloodline curse of bad hearts and bad living, bad lung, all of that stuff. I counsel that stuff. So I, I'm delivered from that stuff. Enemy wanted me to feel like I was going to have a heart attack on this zip line, but the devil is a lie. And so today I was sitting there, I was walking and, and, and God started talking to me about, you know, uh, um, um, Israel and start talking to me about Jacob. And I was the God who made you, Gerald. I, I start, I, I took it personal. So I start saying it to myself, the God who made you, Gerald, in the first place. And it said, Jacob, the one who got you started, Israel, don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. Man, that right there had me jumping. I was in the store about to jump. I was like, wow, because I was reading it on my phone while, while he was giving it to me. He says, I've redeemed you. I've called your name, Gerald. You are mine, Gerald. When you're in, when you're in over your head, I'll be there with you. How many times you done been over your head? How many times you done been in a, in a, in a, in a rough and rough waters? And he said, you won't go down. How many times you've been in a, 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 a hard place, a rock hard place, but God said, this is not the end. And when you sitting there looking at this situation in your life, you're sitting there looking at the times, the, the moment that you seem like it's just, it's not going to happen. God, I'm at a dead end. This, this marriage is at a dead end, but God said, that's not the end of this. This, the, you're not dead. This is not a dead place. It just looks like it's dead. Now I need you to understand. Don't allow fear that, that you can't make it fear that it won't, that you, it won't come to pass fear. I'm talking about, we're talking about fear today. So we're going to get some deliverance from fear. I don't know what your fear is. I don't know what your fear is. So whatever that, your, whatever your fear is, use this scripture to apply to yourself. Speak to yourself. I don't care if you get into the mirror because I'm, I'm sitting here. Like I say, I say it all the time. I'm looking at myself. I can't see you. I see myself. And so I'm, I'm talking to my spirit, man, that no longer, Gerald, are you, are you bound by fear? You didn't even understand. You didn't even know that this fear was, had you bound. 
when my heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest, I realized this was this was really serious. This 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 fear was extremely serious to where I was trying to go and what I was trying to do. So let me tell you something. I don't know what your fear is, but I got delivered from the spirit of fear uh, over the weekend. And I'm telling you, when you get when you literally get delivered from the spirit of fear, you see things totally different. You're going to see things totally different. I don't know what your fear is. Your fear might be something that, you know, uh, I used to be afraid that uh, here, I, here go. go. I used to be afraid also of of um, uh, people finding out I was hooked on pornography or I was hooked on drugs. And then I got I got so doggone far. I ain't even care if somebody knew. I ain't even care if somebody saw me doing what I was doing. I didn't even care because fear does that to you. Fear will take you to a place that you don't even want to go. So you need to face your fears. You need to find out, recognize what, what you're afraid of. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of, of, of doing it God's way? Are you afraid that if you do it that way, it won't work? Are you afraid that if you if you uh, 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 God tells you to, to 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 stand and pray and fast and do whatever he's telling you, you afraid that it won't because the enemy is telling you, look at your circumstances. The enemy is always going to tell you opposite of what God is telling you. So he's always going to put the spirit of fear. He wants to he wants to to, to keep the spirit of fear bound in you. So today, let's get delivered from fear. Whatever your fear is, you declare that you're no longer afraid of it. I'm no longer afraid of heights. I'm no longer afraid of of, of being a, 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 a servant of God. I'm no longer afraid of what I'm trying to do. I ain't afraid of him. That's I'm not afraid of him. He don't, he, he got to understand that I, I wake up with victory. I wake up. I wake up with a spirit of the overcome. I'm overcoming everything. I'm overcome fear. I overcome um, drugs and perversion. I um, overcome a uh, uh, generational curses. Overcoming all of it. Broken marriage, dysfunctional marriage, all of that. Um. You're going to overcome fear today. You're going to get delivered from fear today. Say today is I'm today is the day that I get delivered from fear. Fear is no longer going to hold me bound or hold me uh, uh, strapped down. Whatever it is that the fear has you today is the day you get yourself, get yourself some deliverance. So today is the day of deliverance. I pray that this, this, this nugget, I'm telling you, it blesses you because today is the day. You stop being afraid. Today is the day you step out and you say that I'm an overcomer. I'm not my my circumstances don't dictate what God has already said. All it does is give God an opportunity to show up and show out. Man, listen, let God show up and show out. Let God, He says, "Who the Son sets free is free indeed." Today, let's let's understand that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Jesus Christ, His stripes, every stripe that He had is for our healing. So, if you if you're afraid that 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 corona, afraid that that the the heart, you afraid that cancer, you afraid of all of these things, and God is saying, "I need you to believe in Me." If you believe in Me, why why won't why don't we think that that God is able to cure? God is able to restore. God is able to reset everything that the enemy has pumped fear into god is giving you the faith it's the fear is the opposite of faith it's always trying to it's trying to diminish not only your faith but your hope but today you get delivered from fear today is the day you getting delivered from fear so i pray that this message this nugget has, has will push you motivate you and encourage you to get delivered today, whatever your, whatever it is, if fear, fear, of whatever it is that you're afraid of, whatever you cancel it, you, 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 you annihilate it. Come on. You, we, we renounce it. I don't care. Whatever it is, you, you feel like this won't happen. You're afraid that if I don't take this and I don't do this, this is going, man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's come out of that. Let's come out of that place. Let's come out of that place. Today is the day that you are delivered. Today is the day that you are getting set free. Set yourself free. Come on. Today is the day we set ourselves free. I ain't scared no more. I'm not scared of failure. Why? Because if I fail, I understand and now I got to get back up. Uh, listen, I used to be a, I used to be afraid of failure. I used to, man, it was so fail. I, I used to, I, I, I failed because I was afraid of failing. 
And it made me, it just, it, it, and the devil said, oh, you're a failure. You're a failure. You're a failure. Why? Because you just keep failing. You just keep failing. Why? I will go into a situation expecting to fail. Fear. Fear had me tripped for a very long time in so many different areas. And so this week, past weekend, I got delivered from heights. I'm no longer afraid. I'm, I'm go, I go to the edge now. I want to go to the skyscraper and just look down because I ain't, I, I want the enemy to know I ain't scared anymore. I'm not scared anymore. I want to go zip lining again because I ain't, I'm not afraid anymore. I want to enjoy from the first to the last zip line. I want to see it all. I want to see all of God creation. I want to be able to scream out, God, here I am. Show me more. Give me more. Don't allow fear to stop you from seeing what God sees. That's a good one. Don't allow fear to stop you and, and, and stop you from believing what God is able to do. If God tells you that you're going to be a, 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 a famous uh, person or, or, or healed or delivered or, or um, marriage restored, you know, kids uh, 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 are being saved. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's that place. So allow God, allow God to be God because he says it in, in Isaiah 43. And I read that out of the message. He says, he, he says, I'm the God who made you in the first place. Come on. God made you in the first place. He made you the one who got you started. Don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. I've called your name. God knows your name. He knows every hair. He can count every. He knows every hair on your head. I'm kind of bald, but I got some stubbles, and I'm sure God knows all. So it is what it is. He knows me. I'm His. When I'm over my, when I'm over my head, He said I'll be right there. That's why He said I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So I'm on this zip line, and I'm like, oh God. He said, man, I'm right here. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I got you. God got you. Don't be afraid anymore. He got you. So whatever your destiny is, whatever your purpose is, walk that thing out with, 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 with a sense of boldness. I got this. My God is with me. God is rolling with me. My family is restored. My family is healed. My family is, is, is in the right place. I'm no longer afraid of what is happening around me. Come on, y'all. This is the day that we break our we break off fear. I'm talking about listen, fear can go fear can jump from one person to another person. Fear can go from one generation to another generation. So let's break the spirit of fear cuz fear is that thing that that you don't look at it as a as a quote unquote sin because it is something that's inside of you that nobody can actually see it. But if if you're around a person long enough, they'll know you are afraid of heights. They'll know you afraid of 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 of, of go karts. You're afraid of of a bridge. You whatever it is that you're afraid of, because at some point in some time you'll end up saying, "Man, I'm afraid of that." Now you don't verbally said it, so now you've gave you've given the enemy a, a a legal right to really have you bound. Come on, y'all. We breaking, we breaking fear, man. Today is the day that we break fear. We're no longer afraid of the enemy. We're no longer afraid of whatever phobia that, that the enemy has given you or, or, or try to place upon you, not even on you, but placed it on your bloodline, that it caused your bloodline to be afraid of a certain situation, afraid of, 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 of animals, afraid, whatever it is that you're afraid of. But today is the day that you'll set yourself free. So let's go, y'all. Let's go. Today, we're set free. So... Once again, thank you. I'm Gerald, one half of Gerald and Yvette Ministries. I thank you for joining me for this driveway um, motivational nuggets. And I pray that it encourages you and stretches you and, and pushes you into a new place. And I, like I said, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Understand Jesus Christ has set you free. So you are free. You're no longer bound. And so today is the day in your freedom. You be blessed and you have a most. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to our website, GeraldineVet.com. We have resources. Um, we have, I don't have a book. We got a book, Bent But Not Broken. My wife has two books, uh, a book and a workbook, um, Help for the Help Me. If you haven't gone to our help, our, our um, YouTube channel, Geraldine Vet Ministries, please go there and subscribe. And please like it. Show me, tell me something. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you see. Tell me if it's blessing you. Tell me if it's encouraging you. I like to.
things. I like to read the messages. So uh, once again, thank you for joining, joining me on Driveway Motivational Nuggets. You be blessed.